Oh, miss it. <laughs> All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're out the Mifflin County Sportsman's Association. It's my favorite place in the entire free world, and we're testing out this guy right here. Hope you can see it. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the CMMG Banshee Mark 9. Now, what's the difference between this Mark 9 and a typical Banshee? Well, it's the use of these guys right here. These are the SMG Colt Pattern Magazines. Now, these are made by Duramag. Absolutely phenomenal. Hold that thought. Here we go. With that delayed rollback system, man, we're really experiencing, well, a minimum amount of recoil. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, one of these days, I'm going to test this out against the JP rifle, which has uh, got a really cool recoil system, low mass operating system. But I will tell you this, this guy is absolutely phenomenal. Woo! Oh! <laughs> And it has a, uh, what do you call that? A lot back feature on it, which is really nice. Absolutely, if you're used to shooting the AR platform. Why don't we do this? Let's get on back to the uh, shop. I'm gonna show you the in and outs of this guy. We're gonna have a lot of fun and uh, we'll go through it in depth. Here we go, stand by. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Coda Boy 32 here. Check it out. Look what we've got. This thing's bad. This is the ACSS Cyclops Gen 2 by the guys over there at Primary Arms. Let's take a look at it on the table top. The table up the top. But man, I tell you what. What amazing object. <laughs> if you're blind as a bat like me. Here we go. Let's take a look at it. Stand by. Woo! All right, guys. KB32 here. Check it out. We're out here at the Mifflin County Sportsman Association. Today, we're testing out this guy right here. The JP Rifles GMR-15. This was sent out to the channel by his one and only... Mr. Manning and Sons for your high-end rifles. Check out his YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link down below, Manning and Sons. Anyway, really cool dude. Uh, yeah, GMR. This is a pistol caliber carbine chambered in 9mm. Now, this bad boy comes equipped with just about everything under the kitchen sink to include, and I want you guys to see this, a side charger. Let's take a look at that thing because, you know what? I didn't realize how cool that was until just now. Stand by. You get in a situation where you've got a malfunction, just pull that back. And the nice thing is, see this thing does lock back. You go ahead and pull it in there like that, boom, you're done. A lot of people ask me, what's the advantage of the side charger? It's probably just like you. I didn't really see an advantage in the side charger, but now I do. And the idea that it doesn't reciprocate, you don't have to worry about taking your finger apart, it's very nice. Oh yeah, by the way, the steel is uh, <laughs> contributed by Focus Trip. I'm gonna put his link down below as well. Wow, holy smokes. If I'd have used this guy down there at the USPSA Two Gun Nationals, I would have stood a very good chance. This bad boy is bad to the bone. The nice thing is, is it's equipped with like a five and a half inch barrel. And shooting USPSA, you don't need as many much more velocity because you're not really shooting in a bay that's more than maybe 40 yards, which is basically easy to do with a pistol, but man, this thing's bad. And there it is, we have a lot back. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get on back to the tabletop and have fun. Focus Trip, thanks very much for the steal. Ethan, thanks very much for sending this thing out. We'll get it back to you ASAP. KB32, stand by for the tabletop, here we go.